Is the T5 too small for us? Taking Cody and Everest to the pub. It'll be Everest's first time at a pub. Hopefully he's gonna do well. Fingers crossed. We're gonna have to get a mount or something to hold it there. And we'll buy it, that's gonna be massive. Mm -hmm. Oh that's nice live so we need an awning we need an awning on the other side now the problem with that is on days like today we, we did we were originally planning on going camping we were originally planning on staying out but all the campsites we chose said with a yellow weather warning there's no chance an awning's allowed to be put up it'll just blow away unfortunately so that left us was next to nothing. The first thing we done, we decided to come out for a little van, van drive, bring the dogs, pack everything we need, and just see where we end up. And the place where we ended up was the old farmhouse, Darlington. Now they were very welcoming. It was a brilliant place. The food was lovely. We were sat at the front, so literally every 10 seconds someone came into the establishment. We got stopped to come over. The notice code of the notice Everest. It was it was lovely to be fair, it was really nice. So I highly recommend there. They're doing a brunch actually, a doggy brunch on the 22nd of on the 21st, sorry, of March. And the, they've all got a lineup. The dogs get breakfast, salmon, chicken, carrots, the lot, a scrambled egg, and they do a, a human menu as well, all day breakfast and whatnot. It seems quite cheap, seems quite reasonable, and the food's really nice, so I think we're going to check out there. If anyone's wondering where to go on the 21st and you're near Darlington, I'd highly recommend going there. It was lovely. So we did get a picture of the doggy brunch menu. Uh, if you head over to our Instagram, we'll put a picture of that on so you can see what your dog would like. And you can also have a look at the human menu as well. And we did get quite a few pictures today of the boys, um, especially it being Everest's first time in the pub. We'll pop some pictures on there. So if you head over to our Instagram, which is the same as YouTube, Kane Island Camper Van, obviously we haven't got enough room there's a few options what we can do we can either learn how to space save and take some advice from you guys anything 
we've got an awning that fits perfectly we can do a lot with it but it also hinders us with a fair bit of where we can and where we can't stop so obviously the space saving there's a pop top but is it really worth an extra three thousand pounds it's not just the it's not just the livable space it's the storage as well when you've got two big dogs one of which needs a crate at the minute because he's only young so he'll eat his way through anything if we give him the opportunity to and the missus brings enough suitcase luggage for a three-week holiday for a nice stay so that's another one and then the next one is do we convert a crafter or a sprinter or something along those lines has anyone ever done that as has anyone moved from a t5 up to a crafter or a sprinter anything that big a long wheelbase vehicle how does how's the comparison compared to a t5 obviously this would be the day van so i would need to buy a car as well which adds more complications to it but we're thinking with the dogs the way we'd like it we see a lot with the raised beds at the back so if we could sort out two separate sections for the dogs underneath where they could just chill out where it'd be safe for traveling and where they could sleep and which means we could stop anywhere we wanted it does make a lot of sense what do you guys think how do you use camp how do you travel so if you can recommend any dog friendly places for these two needy knickers <laughs> and the adventurous puppy please let us know comment on our instagram comment on our youtube I'd like to see more everest exploring on his first first tries of different things subscribe to our channel like and comment head over to instagram canines and camper van as well yeah thanks for joining us please subscribe it'd mean a lot thanks guys Thank you. guys and welcome back to the K9 and Camper Van YouTube channel. If you've not been here before, I'm Emily. I'm Emily. <laughs>